In this tutorial, I would like to introduce you to the calendar function in Entourage. First, I think I'll maximize my window to give a better view of the calendar. Next thing I'm going to do is click on the calendar button among the function buttons. That puts me in the calendar view. So let's look at a couple items that are important in our calendar environment. First of all, we want to look at our calendar views. Again, we have uh, a calendar that is specifically located on our hard drive or a calendar that is associated with our Exchange account. And we want to make sure that we're using the calendar that's associated with our Exchange account. The reason for this is if we correspond with anybody and we want to set up appointment times or anything, you can actually very easily link email and calendar appointments or calendar events if you're using the Exchange Server calendar. So this is the views of your calendars. We want to make sure we're on the Exchange. Any item you see listed in the calendar is called an event. Events that occur across several days are called recurring events. And an example of this would be the video tutorial creation event that covers four days. Another recurring event is the one that is in green that happens every two weeks. So those are examples of events that are in the calendar. In the bottom left-hand corner of your window, you can see there's a mini calendar view. And we can jockey between different months very quickly uh, if we need to just see a quick overview of different months. Across the top, you have view icons. You can view your calendar in a day format, a work week format, a week, or a month. One of the nice features about the calendar in Entourage is you can actually jump to a very sp a specific date very quickly. When you click on view date, a dialog box pops up with the current date. But if you wanted to change that to a specific date to see if you have anything scheduled, you type that in and click OK. I could also click on the calendar icon to the right and that would give me a view of a small calendar that I could shuffle through. I'll click OK, and you can see that my cursor is showing me that date. Because I'm in the month view, and I stayed in the same month that I'm currently in, it doesn't really look like anything happened. So let's view a date that's in a different month. We'll view August 11th. Now you can see my calendar has jumped to August and the date for the 11th is available. This is a quick overview of the calendar environment. 